Hey guys, this is Joelle from FromScratchFarmset.com and if you are looking for the perfect recipe to bring to your next potluck or gathering with friends or family, look no further. This gluten-free, dairy-free apple bread is not only simple and easy to put together, but it's also probably my most requested recipe by people who don't even have food sensitivity. So people often have no idea that this recipe is gluten and dairy free because you cannot tell by the texture and the taste is delicious. So while our family does not exclusively eat gluten free or grain free, I have experimented a lot with gluten and grain free recipes over the last several years. Um, and we have gone through stints where we have eaten that way. And so I, have there's so many recipes out there, right, with like a thousand different flours or these really niche special ingredients, um, and I just, I don't do those. I can't, I can't stand that. But I have found that two really simple flours, um, tapioca flour and coconut flour, mixed together as the two flours that you use in a lot of baking recipes work perfectly to create a really, really nice texture in gluten-free recipes that's really comparable to using regular all-purpose flour. And so that's what we're gonna be doing today with this apple bread recipe. So the ingredients are really simple. You're just gonna need your coconut flour and your tapioca starch. You can also st substitute arrowroot starch for tapioca starch, they, they substitute perfectly. And then it's just gonna be four eggs, um, one large, diced apple. You're going to want to, you could shred it if you want, but I usually just dice it finely with a knife. I always just leave the peel on with my apples because all of the nutrition in apples, especially if you're getting them organically grown, are in the peel. So I always try to leave the peel on. So just go ahead and dice up your apples and then you're going to need four eggs, some sort of sweetener, either honey or maple syrup. I like to do it with maple syrup if we have it available. Um, and then your spice, oh, coconut oil, if I didn't mention that. And if you don't wanna use coconut oil, you can also substitute butter or like a leaf lard for that. I've done all of them and they all work perfectly. Um, and then cinnamon and salt to season it. Um, there's also an additional, you can do an optional topping if you want. Um, I usually just do a brown sugar cinnamon topping on top. So let's get cooking. All right, so I already have my diced apple here in the bowl and then you're gonna go ahead and add your wet ingredients. So that's gonna be your four eggs. And then a third of a cup of your, this is coconut oil, but like I said, you can use either butter or a leaf lard instead. So a third of a cup of that melted. And then a third of a cup of maple syrup or honey. And in a pinch, I have substituted regular sugar, which has also worked fine, but I like to do honey or maple syrup if I have them available. All right, and then you're gonna go ahead and whisk those together. All right, now we're gonna add our dry ingredients to our wet. So we have a half a cup of our tapioca flour or arrowroot starch. All right, and then you're gonna do a half a cup of coconut flour. teaspoon of baking powder. I always make sure to have aluminum free baking powder. All right, and then you're just gonna add your spices. You can get crazy with this, add ginger, add uh, nutmeg or whatever, but honestly, I usually just stick with cinnamon and do a good heaping teaspoon of cinnamon. then a little sprinkle of salt around a quarter of a teaspoon. All right, and then you're just gonna mix all of those together. All right, so then you're gonna pour your batter into your greased loaf pan. Sprinkle some cinnamon and sugar on top. This is two tablespoons of brown sugar and about a teaspoon of cinnamon. Whoa. And for 
from there, you're gonna go ahead and bake this at 350 degrees for about 40 to 45 minutes until it comes out uh, completely cooked and cooked through all the way in the center. And that's it. That's all you need to do to make this super simple, gluten-free, dairy-free apple recipe that I promise will get rave reviews at your next event. So thanks so much for stopping by the farmstead today and we'll see you next time.